Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Good morning. Time now is 847. Let's get you a final check of the weather for this morning. It's a pretty straightforward forecast. Sunshine and comfy temperatures for this afternoon. We'll be topping out near 60 and you know, with the dry weather we've been having, it's uh, looking at that fire risk continuing for today. So although there's no red flag warning for today, that fire risk is certainly there. Avoid outdoor burning once again. Providence looking good. Narragansett seeing some people here walking along the water. It's kind of a cool start, so maybe have that extra layer with you as you head out the door uh, for the morning hours. We're near 50 degrees across much of the area. Smithfield, Providence, Newport all seeing 50, 48 and westerly 47 in New Bedford. Radar. Things are looking pretty quiet as well as expected. It'll stay this way uh, for the next several days until we finally see some more beneficial rain in that extended forecast. Here is that uh, fire risk that we've been talking about really the last several weeks. It does uh, cover the entire area for today. And again, just avoid outdoor burning because of the dry air and the dry ground that's in place. So the fire risk will be staying elevated and actually very high, not only for today, but also for Monday and Tuesday. So again, avoid outdoor burning for all these days and really for the next several days until we get that rainfall in here. My three key things overall today's a nice day to be out and about looking at the dry weather lasting through midweek rain though and some beneficial rain does return though for Thursday, Friday and even into potentially on Saturday. So high pressure in control of our weather really keeping the entire eastern half of the country on the dry side. Cold front off to the west. A lot of clouds with it. Notice the green on it is a very isolated and kind of scattered about. This is the front that'll be tracking through late tonight, early tomorrow morning will bring us extra clouds and maybe a sprinkle. But other than that, staying dry, all the rainfall will be confined uh, to parts of the Midwest and the South. This is through Tuesday, the 19th. You can see again all the blues and the purples off to the West. As we go into Wednesday, notice it does make its way a little bit further east. And then for us on Thursday, we start seeing some more of those blues and purples ourselves. Now, this rainfall forecast, of course, we're still several days away, so I wouldn't take it verbatim, but certainly uh, this is showing us that at least when we do see that rainfall later in the week, it could be, uh, you know, more beneficial for us and, and more, you know, much needed rainfall with a good dousing of rain, uh, potentially for about a half an inch to an inch and a half of rain. Of course, we'll be watching that closely to see how it develops over the la uh, next few days into next week. Let's time things out, though, for us locally here today. Sunshine from start to finish, temperatures upper 50s to lower 60s. Staying quiet, staying dry right through the evening hours into tonight. Clouds will filter on in late at night into early tomorrow morning. Not expecting any rainfall with that, but perhaps a few sprinkles are possible for the morning commute on Monday. Temperatures heading at the door early about 6 a.m. Seeing the 30s and even some 40s out there. Notice the cloud cover though mid to late morning already breaking apart and pushing its way eastward. I'm expecting some developing sunshine for Monday, especially for the second half of the day and during the afternoon with some warm temperatures once again back into the uh, upper 50s to around 60 degrees once more for Monday afternoon. Here's that seven day forecast again for the most part staying dry through Wednesday, a couple sprinkles early Monday, otherwise staying dry rain likely haven't said that in a while Thursday temperatures in the mid 50s and then upper 40s for Friday and Saturday and a few leftover showers are possible. Certainly we'll take all the rain we can get. So that forecast at the end of the week is actually looking good and that full seven day forecast will be found on our website at WPRI.